Welcome to the first tutorial in my beginner's series on Oculus Quest 2 development. Now, before you can start developing on your Quest 2, you will need to activate developer mode for the headset. Before you are able to do that however, you must first set up an Oculus developer organisation. And this, in turn, needs to be done through an Oculus developer account. So, how do you get an Oculus developer account? Simply open a web browser and go to the website developer.oculus.com. This will take you to Oculus's developer portal. And from here you can sign up for a developer account by clicking on the sign up link on the top right of the page. Go ahead and do that now. You will be taken to this sign up page. If you scroll down to the bottom you will notice that you are presented with two options. The first option is to sign up with a Facebook account. The second option is an unmerged Oculus developer account. I personally do not have a Facebook account and I'm not keen on getting one just for the purposes of developing for the Quest 2. So I went for the second option, the unmerged developer account. This allows me to develop for the Quest 2 without a Facebook account. I was able to create a test user account. This is a fake identity and not linked to any real Facebook account. I will link to a video on how to set up these test users in the description. However, please first watch the rest of the tutorial as you will need to set up your developer account and register your organisation first. It's also important to know that test user accounts do have significant limitations. You won't be able to buy products from the Oculus App Store for instance. You will also be unable to connect with real Facebook users on the platform. I should also warn you that Facebook plans to discontinue unmerged accounts in 2023. Indeed, if you're already logged into your Quest 2 using your Facebook account, it's probably best to stick with your current Facebook login, as if you now wanted to switch to logging in as a test user via an unmerged developer account, you would need to perform a factory reset on your headset. I'm signing up for an unmerged Oculus developer account here, but feel free to go with the Facebook option. The rest of the process should be the same regardless. Okay, now that the sign up process is complete, here I am logged into the Oculus Developer homepage, developer.oculus.com. There was one more step I needed to complete, however, in order to unlock all the functions of my account, and that is to fully verify my account. To do this, first click on the cog icon in the top right hand corner. This will take you to the account manager section. Here you will be prompted to verify your Oculus developer account. You can do this by either adding a credit card or by setting up two-factor authentication by providing your phone number. Now that we are fully verified, let's go back to the Oculus developer landing page at developer.oculus.com. There is one last but important step that you need to perform and that is to create an organisation on your Oculus account. You will need to be logged into your account. Now click on the manage link in the left sidebar. Or alternatively go to this URL. There's a link in the description. You can now create a new organisation. Please enter an organisation name in the text box. If you have a company you may want to use your company name here. Tick the terms of service checkbox and then click the submit button. An NDA form will now appear. You will need to agree to this also. OK, so that's it. You are now set up as an Oculus developer. In the forthcoming tutorials, we will configure your Quest 2 for development. You will find a link to the next video in the description below.